Hello my friends and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Before we begin the video, I want to I want to say a huge thank you to everybody watching the videos and subscribing because we just reached 5000 subscribers and as promised today I'm going to decide a special 5000 subscriber outfit and I thought it's going to be a perfect opportunity to actually make a tutorial on how to design clothes in Disney Dreamlight Valley. So let's jump right into it. So first, go to your inventory and then click wardrobe, customize, and let's add new. Yeah, this was a jersey, so this time we're gonna do a hoodie then. Let, let, let's make it different. It's gonna be the same principle for everything. Okay, now we click create. Okay, this bird is driving me crazy. So first of all, Let's uh, let's talk about the editor. There is a few things in here that uh, you need to know before uh, you start designing your clothes. So let me let me move myself a little bit the camera because it's a little bit in the way. Okay, I think for this one it's going to be better on the left side. So first of all, uh, there is 50 layers that you can add. Each layer represents one motif, and it might seem like a lot, but trust me, once you start designing, once you let your creativity flow, they're gonna fill up extremely fast. So make sure to try to achieve your design in as many layers, as little layers as possible, so you don't run out. So first of all, you get to choose the color, the base color of your hoodie. Uh, right now, I still don't know which color I want because I still don't know what design I wanna do. It's gonna be very spont spontaneous and creative thing. Uh, but first we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna show you a few tools. So once you click plus, you can choose a motif. For now, let's just make it simple. Something like uh, a, s a star. So I, I just wanna show you the principles of the editor and then we're gonna start working on the design itself. So there's a few things you can change. You can change the color of the motif unless this is like uh, already has a bunch of colors in it. If, it. if it has more than one color in a motif, it will not let you change the color, but there's basic shapes that has only one color, those you can recolor. Let's let's say it's red. So on the basic menu, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can rotate it if you want, uh, you can change its color. Now, if you want more options, you click on this uh, square. Let me make sure that the, my uh, mouse is visible. Okay, here we go. So if we click on the square, there is a few buttons on top. Let's go through every single one of them. This one just basically, it makes your, uh, it flips your design. It's like horizontal flip. You can't see it because it's uh, it's symmetrical. So if you like, for example, add a new motif, like let's, let's say this orange, and if you want to flip it horizontally without rotating it, you just click this and now you can flip it like this. Uh, the next thing is, uh, it's a symmetry line that creates a duplicate on both sides. So for example, you want to duplicate this uh, like vertical symmetry line in the middle and you want to make the same pattern on the right. So you click this and it mirrors the image on the other side, which is very, very, very useful. Also, when it mirrors the image, it creates, after you exit out, it's going to create an extra motif right here. So you will have two separate motifs and if you if you want to make any changes make sure you do the mirror in the very end after you've finished your motif otherwise you'll have to edit two motifs later separately so if you want to make any changes just delete the mirrored one and uh, for example adjust this one and then do the mirror again it's going to save you a lot of time because right now if you exit and if you try to change one of them it's just it's just going to behave like a separate object Okay, the next option is going to be a scissors. This allows you to create very cool designs by cutting out certain things. So basically, for example, let me give you an example. You have the star. It only works if there is a motif underneath the motif. Now, let's say I want to cut out a little circle inside. Uh, I'm just going to make a different color so you can see. So for example, you want to uh, cut out the circle like this, if you want to make like a cool design, you can go uh, right here, click scissors, and it's gonna basically make a hole in the shape of, of the current motif in the motif underneath. One thing that you need to be aware of, it's gonna cut out things from every motif underneath. Let's say I have, I have this mushroom in here. 
Wow, that's a big mushroom. Uh, by the way, if you know, you can... Uh, you know, you can rearrange the order of the motifs. To do that, you need to make sure that none none of the motifs are currently in edit mode. None are selected, and then you just long hold the motif, and then you can drag it. Uh, it. It took me a while to figure it out, but this is a pretty good way. So as you see right now, this circle, it cut through everything. Also, yeah, if you're doing this on the console, I'm not really very familiar with the controls on the controller for this. I prefer to use my mouse because it's much more control. All right, the next tool is uh, basically this bunch of dots that allows you to create uh, lots of duplicates. And now after you press this, you can actually adjust the size of it and you can uh, rotate and it's gonna change the whole pattern. Th this is a pretty cool way to create patterns. By the way, not gonna like, it already looks amazing. <laughs> Next tool is going to be uh, these two arrows. I don't know the names of the tools because the game doesn't give you names of the tools, so I'm just calling them the way I see them. Uh, when you click this, it creates a copy on the back of the same item. So now if you exit out, you're going to have it right here. And the good thing about this is it doesn't create an additional layer. You still have only one layer in here. Now... Another important thing, uh, the tool is called the globe. I mean, I don't know what's it called, but it looks like a globe. If you click this, it basically makes it that the shape, it flows around your body. It makes it, instead of the flat object, so if you don't have it on, it basically just projects the shape the way you see it onto the clothes. But if you want the shape instead to like wrap around it, you click the globe. Another c cool benefit of the globe is that it allows you to make shapes bigger than you normally could. Look, you can make the shape all the way to this size, but if you turn the globe off, it just stops right here. Same if you want to make smaller objects, you cannot make as small of an object with a globe on, so keep that in mind. Also, a few things cannot work together. For example, globe and uh, the back tool, for some reason, they cannot work together. If you click one and then click another, just cancel it, cancel it out. Makes no sense to me, but whatever. Also, very important tool, I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned during designing my previous clothes. For example, there is a very popular shape that you're going to be using, which is a gradient. For example, this one. If you want to make the whole thing like a, a wraparound gradient, you can go right here, click the globe so we can make it bigger. Then you you need to align it perfectly. You need to also make sure... See, see if you want to do it all, the, all around, there's two ways you can do it. First is to make it like mirrored and then make sure that you align it perfectly. Now here, you need to keep in mind that Sh shifting the angle of your model will actually affect the way the picture looks and you can shift things around until you get the exact look that you want and only then exit out the layer and it will save it and it will apply it exactly the way that you see it so for example right here i want i want these two gradients to blend seamlessly so what i can do i can uh, i can i can play with the angles a little bit like play around uh, play around with the size. I just want to make sure that these two lines, they do not intersect in any way and the edge is pretty much invisible. So I, I, I'm, I like I'm playing around like this. Maybe make it a little bit tiny, a little bit smaller like this. And once I'm satisfied with the result, like see, I'm, I'm, I'm doing some very, very light touches so I can get as seamless of a, of a connection as possible without any overlap whatsoever. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with this. And now I literally just exit out, or I just make sure I click out from the layer. And now, as you can see, it applied perfect gradient. There is no connection. Okay, there is still a little bit visible connection, but it could have been much worse. From certain angles, you can't even see it. But if you, for example, if you were doing the same thing, and if you are uh, trying to move it around uh, while in symmetrical tool, like, you, you can see, once you, like, you can do this, like, you spin your model, and the things just get out of whack. Then, in this case, if you exit out, you're gonna get stuck with that image, so you wanna make sure things align perfectly. Okay, now these are the basic tools. Now let's start designing our hoodie. 
and uh, maybe there's going to be a few tips uh, popping up while we do this. First of all, it needs to say 5,000 somewhere, but I think this time I'm going to do it on the pants. I'm not going to do it on the hoodie, so uh, l let's actually start with the pants. Wait, you cannot design pants? How is that fair? Okay, you know what? There's white Mickey ears, and you know what we can do? Oh, I, I have a great idea. We're going to say 5 on the left ear and then K on the right. This is going to be a very unique design. Now, how the hell, you might be wondering, how do you make 5? Five? 5 is such a difficult number. I'm going to show you exactly how I make 5. <laughs> oh my god, this took... Honestly, this took 15 minutes to make this 5. And I made it exactly the way I wanted to. And if you see that I have 9 layers here. So basically, I have uh, one line right here one line right here i have a main shape as a moon then i have uh this little drop that basically uh it uh, if you take a look this drop cuts out the piece of a five <laughs> i know this is crazy but this is what you need to go for uh if you want to achieve a very specific shape uh so this cuts out this moon then i have this little piece that basically b because without it like if you look without it like the bottom doesn't look right so with this piece i also then have another moon that uh if you take a look it cuts out the the extra bottom piece this is this is what you have to do to suffer for art absolutely beautiful so here's all the pieces and i also have the square uh, that cuts out uh again the left part of the five everything extra so it's a nice smooth line uh, and I have another, I had another square somewhere. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> this square cuts out the, the, the ending of the five. So yeah, nine layers just to create a little uh, number five. But it looks flawless. It looks like a perfect number five. Now let's make a letter K. This should be a little bit easier <laughs> because letter K is literally uh, just a few of these... Uh, it's going to be a few of these sticks, so let's make it real quick. Mm, something like that. Yeah, something like this. So it cuts out. Still don't like it. God damn it. Here we go. Yeah, I like this K way more. All right, 5K is done. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the color because if I have to change it, I'm going to kill myself <laughs> because it's going to be so difficult. Now let's work on the hoodie. All right, so I still want it to be kind of Halloween themed. So let's take a look at some of the latest Halloween motifs that I unlocked. I do like the idea of a giant, uh, like of, 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 of like a body in here. Oh, this, this is going to look amazing. Make sure your body is positioned exactly straight to you, not at any angle, because as you see, it, it, it shifts your design. kind of want to do something with these bats, but I kind of want to, like, a suit that's going to be Halloween-themed, but not really scary, if that makes any sense. Okay, I think... I think this looks pretty sick. We have a little mask here. Then the little skeletons... Oh, okay. Okay, I'm loving this so far. I think this looks pretty good. I don't know, a little bit messy, but let's see what we can do with the sleeves. I want to add some more fire to it, so we're going to do it like this. And then we're going to rotate it. This way, I'm making sure that it's only, only positioned on the sleeve. And now we duplicate it on the other side. And this is starting to come together. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of a detail to the sleeves so they look a little bit more interesting like this. I'm gonna duplicate it on both sleeves. I'm gonna add a few layers. I think it's starting to look pretty freaking good. And I think having this little knife, probably gonna rotate it like this so it's like going inside the pocket. Like it looks like there's <laughs> there's knives inside this pocket, which is pretty cool if, if you ask me. If, if, if you ask me. Okay, here is a moment when, that I was talking about, uh, about making sure that the gradient fits perfectly together without interlapping. It's really hard to do, to be honest. 
Okay, and here it is. I think I think this is going to be it. Uh, I think I'll just find the pants. So in case you're wondering, there is a bunch of layers. Uh, I, I do like how the back turned out. There is a nice pumpkin face with a bit of flames, with a little uh, hat here, a little bit of a gradient. I think it looks pretty clean. The whole short, it's definitely not my best creation, I would say. Uh, but... I don't know, I guess today wasn't the day where, where I make my best one, but maybe it means that you need to subscribe to this channel. So the 6,000 subscribers creation will have a chance to be the best one. I think it's I think it's not bad, though. I'm not sure about the color scheme, to be honest. Pretty proud of that 5. It's incredibly difficult to make a 5 that looks like an actual 5. Uh, yeah. And look at the birdie. Birdie's happy. Uh, let's find some pants uh, for this outfit. And so uh, let's see how this looks all together. I think this looks pretty clean. Yeah. And here is the outfit. <laughs> pretty weird. But it kind of works together, don't you think? Oh my god, and a beautiful sunset. I love it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. 5,000 subscribers. Pretty cool. If any of the tips were helpful in this video, leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. A wonderful day. Take care.